These are the top five things that every unprofitable trader struggles with. Yo guys, what's good? This is the first video on this YouTube channel. My name is Kanan. I run the TikTok and the YouTube channel called Canoe Trades, so you can call me Canoe if you want to. Uh, this is the first video on this channel, so we're just kind of winging it, playing it by ear, see how it goes, all right? So today we're gonna be talking about the top five things that almost every single unprofitable day trader will go through or is going through right now. Pretty much, you're gonna have to deal with these things if you're unprofitable and you're on your journey to becoming a profitable trader. Now, if you guys have seen my TikToks, you know that I am an unprofitable trader. I'm on my way to becoming profitable. I have actually passed a funded account before, but I lost the funded account. So I'm like, I'd consider myself unprofitable on the verge of being break even or we're getting close. We're getting close. Okay. So anything that I say, do not take it as advice. Do not try and trade how I trade when I talk about how I'm trading. This is strictly for entertainment purposes and I'm trying to help you guys. Okay. Because I'm going through these things right now or I've been through some of them, I've overcome some of them. But basically, I'm just trying to help you guys so you kinda know what's coming in the future if you do want to go through that long journey of becoming a trader. These are not in any particular order, but the first one is rushing the process. A lot of you guys get into trading, you see these videos of these gurus, they're making tens of thousands of dollars in like, 20 minutes, right? You're like, ooh, I wanna do that because I wanna make a bunch of money. That is your mistake. The reason that a lot of you guys end up failing is because you just wanna get rich quick. A lot of you guys who have been trading for a while know that this is not the way you need to go. You need to come at this knowing that it's gonna take a while, like years. So if you come into trading and you're only getting into it because you wanna make a bunch of money, you might as well just go try something different. Try SMMA, try Amazon FBA, try some other side hustle because trading is not gonna be a side hustle that you can just make a ton of money in a month. It's not gonna make you rich in a month. It's not gonna make you rich in a year, most likely. It's gonna take a while. I never really had an issue with this, but that's because when I first started trading, I knew it wasn't gonna be, like I saw videos and people were saying it's not gonna be easy, you're not gonna get rich quick, you have to actually put in the work. All right, so number two, you guys change your strategy way too much. Honestly, honestly bro, when you're first starting out trading, don't even worry about your strategy. Like literally, it doesn't matter what you do. You can say, hey, when, when there's three green candles I'm gonna buy, and I'm gonna put my take profit at the high. When you're first starting out, your strategy is useless. You literally, you need to be worrying about being able to actually execute a plan, okay? So pick a strategy, look up trading strategies, right? Look up a trading strategy, pick one, write down your rules and follow them. You don't need to be worrying about a strategy. You need to be worrying about being able to stick to your rules, being able to not over trade, being able to manage your risk, there's a lot of other factors that go into this that you need to be worrying about rather than what your strategy is. So if you're first starting out, I would pick a strategy and like just stick to it, bro. Number three, you are too attached to money. Now, a lot of you, if you're smart, you started trading on demo when you first started. So this is kind of like okay, you've been trading on demo, now you wanna move up to funded accounts or trading with your own money, stuff like that. When you start trading with a funded account or your own money, in an instance where you can have the potential to make money, that is when your psychology is going to come into play. Because now that you have a chance of making money, every time you place a trade, you're gonna be like, ooh, I need to make this money. Ooh, I wanna make thousands of dollars. Ooh, I could do all this. You're thinking about making the money. You start getting mad when you lose, then you wanna place another trade and it just lead, it leads you down a bad path of revenge trading and trading too much, over trading, all this stuff. And trust me, I have been through this. I used to be terrible at this, bro. Like I would wake up, take a trade. If I lost that trade, I'd immediately look for another entry, immediately. I'd end up losing three trades because once you lose one trade and you revenge trade, you're gonna lose the next one. Like that's just how it goes. So I'd end up being down, losing three trades, and then I'm like, okay, well, I don't wanna lose again, so I'm gonna just stop. When I could have just ended the day down one trade, 
and that could have been it, right? It's okay to have emotions. It's okay to say, oh, I can make this much money. You do not need to act on that. You can't over trade. You can't increase your size just because you want to make money. And honestly, if you struggle with this, a little tip that helped me, place the trade and close your computer, get off your phone, just walk away, go do something else, distract yourself somehow, basically. Number four, risk management. So for you guys that don't manage your risk, you're never gonna be profitable. When you are managing risk, depending on your trading plan, for me, I risk 1% every single trade and I usually have a one to two risk to reward. So I'm usually risking 1% to gain 2% but I take almost one trade every day. If you're a swing trader or you take maybe like two trades a week and you have a one to seven, one to five risk to reward, you can risk a little more. You can risk like maybe three or 5%. Never risk more than 5% of your account. It's not worth. And I know a lot of you guys, when you're first getting into trading, you have small accounts. You've got $2,000 accounts, $10,000 accounts, even some like two or three or four or $500 accounts. If you have accounts like that, there is no point in you putting that money in risking 10 or 20 or 30% of your account because you're going to take L's. If you're not profitable, you are going to take L's. So you're basically just throwing that money away because I did, th I did this, right? I put like $500 into an account. I was risking like 10 to 30% of the account every trade. I lost, I lost all of it. Like it was pointless. I would have been way better off taking that money, saving it, using it for necessities, or even using it towards a funded account, right? One thing I would suggest is putting money in, like putting in a small amount of money, and this is after you trade on demo, putting in a small amount of money and trading with that small amount of money, but having proper risk management. If you have a $500 account, but you're only risking 1%, which is like five bucks, if you're risking five dollars every trade you're not going to be making a lot of money but you're learning how to manage your risk you're learning how to trade you're learning all these things right and there's real money on the table so it's not like demo where you're it, like it literally does not matter at all so make sure you manage your risk make sure you're risking a small amount of your account five percent max but make sure it makes sense with your trading plan and especially for you experienced traders, like if you're trading a funded account, manage your risk. Number five is going to be second guessing yourself. I struggle with this the most right now. A lot of people might not struggle with it, but this is like, this is what I struggle with the most, okay? When I say second guessing yourself, you have a strategy down, you know what you're supposed to do, but for some reason, right when you're about to execute, you're like, ooh, maybe that won't work. Just the other day, I took a trade. I said, there's the setup I'm supposed to take. I executed, took the trade. I was in drawdown. So when it came back up to break even, I closed the trade. What happened? Trade ran all the way up, hit my take profit. My analysis was correct. Now remember, I am unprofitable. Don't listen to me, okay? Here's what helps me though, me personally. Everything works different for everybody, but this helps me. When I find my setup, I said, okay, this is the trade I'm gonna take. When I place the trade, I set a stop loss, I set a take profit, don't move it. Literally don't move it. I don't care if it's one tick away from your take profit, I don't care if it's one tick away from your stop loss. Don't move it, don't close it, don't change it at all. Be confident in your analysis, but again, this is for you more experienced traders who know that your strategy works you know that you're doing the right thing. You just, your psychology isn't there. You want price to hit your take profit, hit your stop loss, whatever happens, happens. You won the trade, great. You lost the trade, okay, you get to learn from it. There's no reason in second guessing yourself because then you're gonna be in situations where you think that this is the right trade, but then you see this and then you see this and there's four different confluences telling you to go in eight different directions taking six different trades and you're like well, which one do I take Th this goes back to knowing your strategy and sticking to your strategy you have a strategy you execute that strategy no matter what you let it hit take profit or stop loss and that it is what it is and that's the top five things that almost every single unprofitable trader will struggle with once again I'm unprofitable I know that unprofitable traders struggle with these things because I struggled 
with them as well, and I'm still struggling with some of them. So for all you guys that are unprofitable, need help with something, you can ask me, but most likely I'm gonna tell you to go watch some video or go listen to someone else. I'm still learning how to be profitable. I'm not profitable yet. I don't have the right to teach you guys how to trade when I'm still learning how to trade. So I guess that's gonna be it for the video. Um, this is the first video on this YouTube channel, so if you watch through the whole video, you are the GOAT. You can like the video if you want. If not, if you got any questions, you can leave a comment down below. I'll probably be making a video going in depth of my strategy here pretty soon, just in case you guys are curious, but yeah, that's it for me, so I will see you guys later. Peace out.